Hey everyone, this is No Filter, a Nintendo podcast, and here's my live reaction to the Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase from September 2020. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. So, um, yeah, not don't really know what to expect out of this one. Just uh, the first one with Shin Megami Tensei 5 was really great. Um, uh, yeah, the last one was not that great. Um, but uh, hey, we're getting these uh, pretty regularly, so I think it's pretty good. So let's see see what they have for us here. What is this? So it's like a blue fox thing. Yo, oh, that's my pop. <laughs> this looks like Monster Hunter. It's definitely Monster Hunter. This is Monster Hunter. This is Monster Hunter. Dude, that looks really good. I know it's on Switch, so of course I will. It's just, uh... Dude, you got some serious acrobatics? I just got an important letter. It looks like... We've got a rampage on our hands. Where's all the the, the monsters? <laughs> Is this like a spin-off? No, no, no. Here they are. Dude, this looks really good. Like it's a it's a very good mix of like you know HD and like the traditional Monster Hunters that wasn't Monster Hunter World, right? Which, by the way, I do have, uh, I have it, it's I bought it uh, physically, and I just have not played it yet on that PS4. Monster is known as so. Magnum Malo. Yeah, so the only Monster Hunter game I've played, uh, technically so far, is uh, Monster Hunter Try on Wii, and I really liked it. Um, I do have Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, and I think I, yeah, I also have Monster Hunter Generations, I just haven't played them yet. Um, and of course now, yeah, I also have Monster Hunter World on PS4, just haven't played that yet, so. Um, Monster Hunter Rise. Man. Shall we go? Like a very heavily... I, it, March 26, 2021. Yo, Switch exclusive it looks like. It'll be, a, there'll be a, like, definitive edition later for... PC and uh, PS4 and stuff or PS5, but uh, you can play the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series wherever you are and however you'd like. That's big. That is a really big We've announcement. We prepared a trailer for another title, so please take a look. And again, that's like directly. That's in March, so yeah, 2021 already. That's a really big uh, start. That is this Monster Hunter, but with Link, uh, with Zelda. looking at <laughs> what? it's no mere coincidence that you were given red's kinship stone and now a rathalos egg this is destiny monster hunter stories too is that what this is i'm so glad you're still alive i thought i'd never see you again Dude, uh, I again, I have Monster Hunter stories. I've heard really good things about it. I'm assuming this is Monster Hunter stories. Okay, pal, let's do this. Hey, Man, I heard fantastic things about the game. Again, I have it. I can play it. Um, Man, I love the visual styles in these. We're killing it right now. mission is to see if it truly has catastrophic power. Yeah, like, like I was saying, like I've heard some really great things about Monster Hunter stories on 3DS. I'm almost like 100% positive this is Monster Hunter stories. If I'm just saying random stuff, then I'm sorry, but... Man, I love the music too. Damn. 
Monster Hunter Stories too. Yeah. Man, wasn't this like Wings of Ru Yo, that is awesome. I love that they actually did a second one like that. Dude, another Nintendo Switch. Capcom finally on the Switch. Finally some Hello, new stuff. Everyone. Welcome Dude, to our third Nintendo that is Direct Mini partner show. One hell of a what you've just start. seen is a first look at Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. This Damn. Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase presentation will deliver the latest information about upcoming Nintendo Switch games from our yeah. development Yeah, one partners. hell of a way to More start this Nintendo like this year. Like, All right, what? let's get started. Wow. Move to the rhythm with boxing exercises. Yeah, this, this was a weird fitness boxing where you can enjoy Yeah, this was this was a weird game that the they just kind of randomly released out of time, you know. The boxing game like that one, they did. Two. It's weird, but select your favorite music and courses. Hmm, yeah. Then get to it with boxing exercises. I kind of wondered how well it did cuz it didn't even ha it doesn't have like that Nintendo look to it right it doesn't have that kind of quality kind of several features are fun in kind of look to it it's very plain and depressing and, looking. <laughs> and the ability to turn off boxing moves save data also carries over from the previous game so use all these features to help keep you going of course takes a lot of Select uh, any one lot of the from we fit including three new ones janice hero and karen all of them have their own distinct personality and are here to support and motivate you. I do kind of like a boxing Box game being a fitness, uh, fitness game, two, though. Rhythm and exercise you know, launches on Nintendo punch straight, Switch uppercut, wrap around. Pre-orders yeah. begin later today. Okay, there's another December game there. They're really trying to fit some. Yeah, An all new Disgaea. Is here, dude. Dude, they're killing it with these. Di is this like the RPG like show or something? Man, <laughs> the zany brand new installment of Disgaea is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Disgaea Six. Meet Zed, Isn't the that... protagonist of Disgaea Six, but he's not just some lowly zombie. As a result of super reincarnation, he'll become stronger the more he dies. Vibrant characters full of personality also hmm. make their appearance in colossal showdowns. Yeah, again, I have a ton of Disgaea Beloved games. Over the it's just, battle uh, system makes a again, just haven't turn. really got into them like that. And now, max they're pretty daunting when you're looking at them. And, and the max level is nearly The visual style's million. never been my favorite thing. And in a variety of worlds and face off against the strongest. Maybe I'm just making up stuff to avoid Get it. Ready but, for uh, an experience that defies common sense. Genre and death. Looks pretty good though. I know it's a this big uh, six, defiance of destiny is coming exclusively. Yeah, so it was this guy five that came out recently on uh I think it came out on Switch too, Plus, but uh, the previous title, this guy of five complete yeah, five complete free to play for a limited time in a special game yeah, trial okay. event exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Defend your turf in a ruthless criminal underworld. Yeah, this There's is a, a different. Okay, yeah, the this is the Empire Sin. Way down Chicago way. I run the fortune tellers, but if you're looking for a good time, ain't no better place. I am a performer by art, but keep my business out of the spotlight. Capone and Angelo don't really know what started their oh, feud, music. but I mm. do. I poisoned Capone's supply and made Angelo take the fall. These people are merely players in my symphony. The world is my stage and merely I players am in the her star. symphony. And we are about to put on a big show. You know that no one ever really wins. I'm coming for her and again. And if you're I, I just don't know. Is this a strategy game? Like, is this a turn based strategy game? or? The Empire of Sin. Hey, like I, I'm interesting. Threat draws near in this Sniper shooter. Elite. Cool. Man, yeah, this is a very much a mature game kind of. Uh, we close the trap on Hitler. The Sniper North Elite Africa games campaign. are awesome. They really are. But what next? I think which one I played was it three I or four that Sam's I played Elite. and. Uh, a secluded it was great. Italy, I have, uh, I think, two on PS3. My target is General Tobias Schmidt. Ought to be a straightforward mission, with no surprises. What could be easier? Yeah, 
Yeah, the slow-mo shots don't really get old. It's really cool environments too, right? You know, for a series just based on sniping like that, you know, they really did well with uh, quality 2020. There you go. There's another 2020. They're really trying to stack it up finally into the end of 2020, right? Here's a quick look at what else is coming to Nintendo Switch this month. It's a little too this quiet month. in the long dark. Brave the quiet Later apocalypse today. in this exploration survival game. You're on your own as you journey through a frozen oh. wilderness in the aftermath of a geomagnetic disaster. I love Chilling survival games. Chilling narrative awaits games. in the winter story mode. Or enjoy and hours of permadeath so. survival <laughs> gameplay. Dude, Experience I love the look of this. on Nintendo Switch later today. Oh, man. So many the games, though. The fairway is open in PGA Tour 2K21. Play against the pros on visual I literally just got back courses. from Hit the golfing all day. Locally or online. Or run full I'm exhausted. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. A physical version of this game it's swings working Nintendo Switch very late. And Defy the God of the Dead in this Greek am. mythology inspired dungeon crawler. Thousands of story events and ability combinations can show yeah, hey, unique experience. Wait, did that say today? Uh, this has been uh, wielding the powers of highly, highly anticipated by a lot of people. So Hades comes to Nintendo Switch later today. Today again, another just drop like that, yeah. Dive into I think the they mentioned it. Land oh, yeah. Wonderworld. Oh, yeah, this one. Battle Welcome in Wonder, Wonder World. World. Yeah, I'm definitely Leo getting this on uh, Switch, too. I know I know it's probably better on uh, PS, uh, PS4, Wonderworld for sure, but... Dreamlike stages. A game like this, having this on handheld, Switch, more. usable in multiple ways, yeah, no. As Leo and Emma, I'm inter I'm definitely interested in this. I, I'm hoping they do abilities. something special with it. Because uh, like the creators of Sonic Ride also the did the Rodeo the, the Sky Soldier, and I had fun with it. It wasn't an amazing game. It was not that, but blocks. you know, it uh, it was a decent game. And I had fun enough with it. And it was to fun to kind of move move around and stuff. So each costume's abilities. Yeah, like we'll see about how how this one does. Stages. Menacing bosses await at the end of each stage. Kind of interesting, uh, you can also pass a sound editing and music. A friend in a co-op mode. Combine your abilities and navigate through stages together. Balan is waiting for you. I wonder what the story Balan is. Balan Wonderworld you know? will make its grand entrance on Nintendo Man, Switch another March 20. Why are they releasing everything on the same day? Your new <gasps> life in a fantasy <gasps> world is about to begin. Whoa! Build a new life amidst the. Oh, they're actually showing it. Yes. Rune Factory Five. I'm so in, so in. Man, Rune Factory Four was amazing. I don't even need to see this, and I know I'm in. Um, I just hope that it is a big step a up. You know, it's a, no memories, it's a first HD. You'll get a fresh start in the rural town of Rigbarth <gasps> as a peacekeeping ranger. Dude, it looks really good. Oh my god! In addition to protecting the town. Your Dude, this direct is awesome. And fishing in the river. Oh man. Oh, I'm so down. You may Yo. even find a special someone to start Compare this to what Room Factory uh, get married. 4 was. Oh my god, this looks awesome. Allows you to perform combo attacks with allies to take down monsters. Begin your the life in a fantasy world. When Rune Factory 5 comes to Nintendo Switch. Oh, okay, 2021. 2021 could be anything, but oh man, that's awesome. All wow. Right. This next title Dude, could be our last. And they have event. another one. Oh my god. Dude, this direct is amazing. Mo Moon Studios. Oh, what is Moon Studios? Oh, they are bringing uh not Will of the Wisps. It's uh Oh my god. Um I'm getting it mixed up. But yeah, this is the sequel. I still have to play the first one. Oh my god. Yeah, this they really make these games gorgeous, but yeah, no, um it's Will of the Wisps is the first one, right? I forget what the second one is. Or no no, this is Will of the Wisps. I'm trying to remember what the first one is now. I don't know, I'm getting confused, but it's cool that it's interesting that they end the show with this. It, well again, it's a it's a huge okay, yeah, this is Will of the Wisps is the sequel. 
Um, I'm trying to remember what is the Ori and the Blind Forest is the first one. Yeah. Whoa, Shadow Drop. Dude, just Shadow Drop like that. Damn. Whoa, is that a physical edition? Does it come with two? It comes with both games. Okay, I might have to get that then. Oh man, I think I have to get that. Because I don't have the first That's one yet, right? That's all for today's Nintendo oh, Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Thank you for Dude, watching. Dude, Shadow Drop at the... Okay, that was seriously a fantastic Direct. Like... That was a really, really good direct, guys. Man. Best part. My favorite part about all of this is that was a fantastic direct and not a single Nintendo game was shown. You know what I mean? That is, uh, wow. That is a great direct. Uh, I am interested in a ton of what they just showed there, too. Um, man, I, I gotta, I gotta take a look at the eShop right now, too. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta get into Ori. I can't wait for Rune Factory. Uh, Balan Wonderworld. I can't wait for that. Monster Hunter is huge. Um, makes me really want to pick up Monster Hunter either for Ultimate or um, or uh, uh, or play Monster Hunter Stories on 3DS right now. And uh, you know, Empire Sin looks good. And I feel like I'm missing some stuff already. Wow, that was that was a jam packed, really really good direct. Um, okay. But yeah, that's it. Uh, that's my, uh, those are my thoughts. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Cause, uh, yeah, that was a really good direct. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.